Welcome everybody to the New Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Colin McEwen. In this week's show, we're someplace truly special. We're in Northern Quebec, in Nunavik. In this part of the Arctic, the wildlife, the scenery, everything is so incredible. What's also special is the fishing. We're gonna be fly fishing for Arctic char out in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Go. you've got it, you've got it. Yeah. The water's so crystal clear, we can see it. Let me get him up, head up. There you go. Seen that fly and him following. I gave it a little pull and he Look at that. I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Go, go, go. Oh, you got him. Nice. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. Good job, Colin. Canada's far north. One of the last true wilderness destinations in the world. Part of the Arctic includes the region known as Nunavik, which is the northern part of Quebec. Nunavik means great land in the language of the native people, the Inuit. With over 171,000 square miles of pristine land inhabited by more polar bears, muskox, and caribou than people. You can understand why it's called the Great Land. I have traveled to this magical place on the edge of Ungaba Bay to visit the Nookshuk Lodge. Built of steel to withstand the forces of nature here in the Arctic, this lodge has a spectacular view looking out onto the bay. Even better, it has access to some spectacular Arctic char fishing. These are char that average 12 pounds in size, with some going well over 20 pounds. In this saltwater environment, these fish are aggressive and super strong, a true test of an angler and their equipment. The total experience of fishing in Ungava Bay is one of fishing in one of the pristine wildernesses of northern Canada, but also the experience of seeing many different types of wildlife in their natural environment. We're a subsistent type of people. Uh, sure, I like seeing wildlife, but when, when I'm looking for wildlife, it's usually to harvest a caribou, a fish. We don't do sport hunting ourselves. It's only what we're gonna consume that we hunt. But absolutely, it's nice to see wild animals, which we do here all the time. We, we have polar bears come around, we see whales in the bay, all kinds of ducks flying. It's beautiful. It's really cool about coming here to Anukshuk Lodge. I mean, besides the great wildlife and the fishing, is of course, we're always exploring, seeing new things. This is a good example. Here's this island, Bird Island, covered with tern and other types of birds that are nesting here. And then we come down to the edge and we're casting for char and sea trout. I mean, literally every three, four hours, based on the tides, we're changing where we're fishing and why. You want me to bring them right yeah, here? Yeah, here, here. Okay. I'll walk them back up. Nice job. 
Thank you. All right. Thank you, Ludwig. My pleasure, my friend. The fly already came out. Look at that silver bullet. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm not even fool around. I'm going to take him down here in the water. <laughs> so now we're ashore on one of the islands that are here, and it's just fish after fish. We're having so much fun. Oh, it's a nice one too. Look at that, in that clear water. Look at that. Oh, nice fish. Nice char, Coleman. Thanks, get him on the reel here. So, I did exactly what Ludwig and Berta told me to do. About three feet. He's a monster. What I did was, I was bringing the fly in, it was near the end, and I brought, gave it a couple pulls up, but I carefully lifted it up, and he took it just as it was coming up. So he didn't hit it, on the retrieve so much as when I was fighting them. Oh, these things are so strong. It's a nine weight rod. And actually, Bert, you're not gonna believe it, I think this guy's ready to come in. If you're ready to net him, I'll fix my line in a sec. Yes, sir. Ready? Yes, sir. There we go. All right. Nice okay. Nice Thank you, sir. Nice job. That's one. There we go. And gone. Okay. Thank you, Bert. So Bert's got me casting in towards shore, this side. And on the other side, where we got the current going by, Ludwig's casting out into there. And we're searching for the char, because the char are always moving. Moving with the current, moving with the bait fish. So you could be hooking into fish and all of a sudden, boom, it's gonna turn off. So very much like all types of saltwater fishing, like striper fishing and species like that, you gotta keep moving and keep looking for where the bait fish are and thereby also search for the predators. Here he is, he's on it, he's on it. Yeah, you've got it, you've got yeah, it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Bud, come on, you got, you, got, you got her, you got this. Yeah, baby, that's what we got out of bed for. Yeah, <laughs> that was cool. It's going over this way. The water's so crystal clear, we can see him. Oh, look at this fish. This thing is just, oh, a, just pure power. Oh, they're so strong. Now, I gotta tell you, we're not using, 2x or 3x tip it here. There's one, one, two under the boat, two under the boat. Come on, get a double, Ludo. Oh, okay, you ready? You know, bring him in. He's ready to come in, I got it set up. Oh, hang on. Okay, turn him again. Let me get him up, head up. There you go. Oh, yes, sir. <sighs> yes, well done, yes. Well done. Thank you, sir. And that was so cool. Seeing that fly and him following, and I gave it a little pull and he, oh, awesome. There we go, another episode. There we go. Look at that, just gone. That was cool. So very cool. Let's get another one. Big one there. Okay, go, go. Oh, okay. This is so much fun. What a beautiful day. Got to set up. There you go. Nice char. <laughs> nice. Nice thing. So right now the tide's coming in 
and Bert's using the motor to control the speed of our drift because we want to make sure the flies are getting down and at the same time we're keeping our eyes open because we believe the char and the uh, brook trout are in here trying to grab food as the water floods in and we've seen them cruising around so it's pretty exciting you got to watch your flies you bring it to the boat because a lot of times they'll be right with it Right there, he's right out that way. There he is, he's right there, beside the boat. Oh yeah. Got him! Yes. Yeah! <laughs> That's a good Ooh. size one too. Oh, he's rotten. Nice, Colin. So I yeah. spotted the fins. That's what I saw was the white fins moving. And he was going by a rock. Oh, it's a, nice a good size one. one. It's a very, very nice one. Yeah. Oh! A little bit more spunk, the others get him on the reel. Yeah, I'm gonna... <sighs> Well, it's on the pack. I'm focused. On the fish. Get I'm focused. Yeah. I'm gonna hold him. He's he's kind of like what's pulling me. Clear. Okay. This on the reel. Good. Okay. Oh, oh we'll call it. That's a big fish. And what are we in? Like seven, eight feet of water. Eight feet of water. And I saw that guy. Look at that against oh, that boulder. Very, oh, very that's big. a big fish. Wow. Okay. You have maybe your 20. <laughs> no, he's, he's going to be in the teens. This is where the fighting butt's so important. Put it right against your stomach. Fight fish like this. Just power. It's all power. Oh, okay. I'm a babe, baby. All right. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I think Louie might be ready. This might be 20. He's a pig. He's a pig. I gotta get out of this shallow water. Thank you, sir. On Gava Bay. Okay, let's let this guy go. And off he goes. Look at that. Whoosh, gone. After all that. Here, I'm gonna handshake. You're just as bad as me. Epic. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> I can't even tell you how much fun this is. And, and it's so beautiful here in the Arctic. This is beyond words. I am, I need a break. I bought Inukshuk Lodge because ever since I was a child, I was always drawn to the, uh, the wilds of Northern Canada. And it was an opportunity to have an Arctic char camp and also collaborate with the Inuit. There's an added bonus, an added experience of fishing in this part of the world. We have the giant George River about 10 miles that way. We have the Whale River about 25 miles that way, both great Atlantic salmon rivers. And every river within the next 20 miles of here has char runs and sea run brook trout, abundant sea run brook trout. So you can realistically expect to catch three species while they're feeding in salt water, Arctic char, Atlantic salmon, and brook trout. Come and visit us. Come and see our wonderful land. It's beautiful, unspoiled, and lots of room for everybody that wants to come up here. Here in Ngaba Bay, the tide range is massive, up to 50 feet at certain times of the year. The char follow these tides and use them to corner prey like lance and shrimp. Go! Right there. there. Oh, it's, it's a big, big one. one, too. Oh, yeah, good fish. Two following mine, too. Big fish. Big, big fish. Again, followed it right to the boat. And I did what. I did what the guy told me to, and that was I gave it a little. Now they have shoulders? Yeah. Hey? yeah. And he's using that Look current. At that. Wow. Strong fish. Yeah. Oh, I saw it coming through. Is there a net clear? Uh, yeah, you know what? You want me to get the net? I'll yeah. get the net. You can net if you get want. Get out of the. Yeah, if he, he holds a boat. Large arbor reel, real important here. And good drag. Okay, if I can get his head up, Paul, I'm gonna try right now. 
Let's see if we get them up. Oh, he's that? too strong. Judd, they're just too strong. Hey, these fish have been feeding on Lance for a month in the ocean. Oi. I saw that fish take. I knew it wasn't going to be a two minute fight. It's a beast. That was awesome. That was. You see it come and take the fly? Oh, yeah. I love it. Love it. Never get tired and of it. And for one, for one, you know, usually the smaller one gets it. This time, the bigger one got it. One, two, three, scoop. Yeah! <laughs> That's a big fish. Look at the, look how fat he is. Look how fat he is. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Thanks. Off he goes, just like that, gone. How big yeah. do you think? 16, 17? So, yeah, it isn't yeah. 20, but it was close. No, it's close. It's close. Oh, you got, got him. him. Nice. Oh, it's a big one. Oh. Good job, Colin. I can't even tell you how exciting that was. <laughs> Holy mackerel. What a blast. Oh. What a blast. And I couldn't get him. He, he followed the fly three times. Bring him back. No, oh, no, no. He's not ready. And then they give you a performance like this. Wow. OK, got him up. Got him up. Heads up, heads up, heads up. Another foot, Colin. There you go. Got him. Wow. Whoa. Oh, good job, Colin. Oh, what a oh. nice char. Right at the side of the boat. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Just had a giant, giant char. Just a single fish follow my fly. I'm trying to get him to come back here. Swam over this way. Of HR. And I have a question for everybody who's watching you enjoy this. How many of these do you think you can handle in one day? You'll wear the shoulders, the arms, the wrists. Yep. It's not just a test of gear. I haven't How seen big him. Big it is, yeah. I haven't seen him. There he is down there. A nice fish. Oh, big char. Oh, baby. He's wow. A fatty. Okay. I'm trying to get his head up. Yeah. I got him turned. Okay. So what I'm trying to do when you're fighting big fish is you try and get them to get going in a circle or get their head. You want to go on that same line. I'll bring him around now. There we go. There oh. we go. Another beautiful char, Colin. Good job, man. Wow. It's been fatty. unbelievable trip. Ready? Yep. Bring Coming him in. in. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, oh. beautiful char. Get a little pop there. It's got right in the nose. I have to get my, there we go, got it out, okay. Look at that beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful char. Look at the emerald colors on the back, how thick they are. 
absolute torpedoes. Wow. Nunavik is a very special part of the Canadian North and some place every angler should aspire to visit. Far more than fishing, this magical land will capture your heart with its raw beauty and spectacular wildlife. Our thanks to Paul Ostegi for inviting us to Inukshuk Lodge. To learn more about this destination or others in our series, visit us online at thenewflyfisher.com. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick from the New Fly Fisher Television Show. I really hope you enjoyed that full length episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today. Now new episodes are going up all the time, so click that bell icon so that you're notified the next time we put one up.